So we now prove the transitivity of separable extensions. So this means that say we have a tower in, in a tower of algebraic extensions. We consider here an algebraic extensions. Say we have F field inside K inside E and we know that uh, these intermediate extensions are separable. So all elements in K are separable over F and all elements in E are separable over K, meaning that their respective uh, minimal polynomial is a separable polynomial for all elements. And from this we can conclude speaking of a corner, then in such a situation we can conclude that also the bigger extension E over F is separable. So, um, we, of course, we have seen in class the special, more special result of this when we consider only finite extensions as an immediate application of, uh, of the theorem which counts extensions in the finite case that count, the counts on, on extensions, but it is a more general result. So now we, we give a proof of this. Of course, you can, uh, we can remark that in characteristic zero, this would be obvious since all algebraic extensions are separable. It, it is really a statement about positive characteristic, but we, we treat it uh, abstractly, so we don't need anything special about positive characteristic. My, so the strategy I would follow is the following. I would like to say, to consider, say, the set S of separable elements in E over F. So the elements in E, which are separable over F. we easily show that this S is an intermediate field, so it's a field and mm, it sits between K and E then we will show that this, uh, so we can consider E over S as an extension and this is separable and from this we will conclude that uh, so that E is equal to S which is what we want to conclude. So any element in E is separable over F. Um, so if you want to try to, maybe you, you can solve this exercise in another way. And if you, you might, you might want to pause the video and try to think about this strategy, maybe you can uh, fill in the steps of this argument. So let's do this step by step. The first thing we notice is that S is indeed a subfield of E. So, well, this is clear 
we take two elements in uh, in S. So it's clear if you realize that um, well, this by definition of S, so these are separable over F. So in particular, the simple algebraic extensions by f of f by a and b are separable because we take f and we extend it with a separable element. Or separable over f, of course. And this then from this, it is easy to show that f of ab is separable over f. And I will leave this as an exercise for you. So in particular, once we have this, then clearly, so what we have proved is that f extended by A and B sits inside S, so it's a subfield of S, and therefore, um, well, therefore S contains the field generated by A and B, or maybe better say, all the, all, all the what we care of, the products, the inverses, some differences, and so on. So it means that S is a field itself. So, next thing we observe is that um, S contains clearly, so uh, let's, let's go to the second step. So, as we said, by our assumption, uh, K, which was the middle, the middle field, K over F is separable. And therefore, any element of um, any element is separable. So K is inside S, which is inside E. So it, this S is really in the middle. Next, uh, we how do we use that E over K is separable? So this means that any element in E, say I take, I denote by F, the minimal polynomial of A over F. So if I take the polynomial minimum polynomial of A over S, uh, this will be a factor of F. So the minimum polynomial of A. So of course F, so this is, let's denote this by over F, over S. F is separable by assumption and G uh, clearly then divides F. Therefore, also G is separable. Separable, which means that uh, E is separable as an extension of S. So the next step is to show that, in fact, E is equal to S. So all elements in E are separable. So 
So we do this by contradiction. We assume that uh, E, um, so the complement of S is not empty, so there exists an element A in E and reasoning with minimal polynomials let G be the let me abbreviate with this notation the minimal polynomial this is what I mean of A over um, F so what we know is that this will be non-separable because we are taking A outside of S and um, so in terms of derivative this means that dg the derivative of g is uh, va vanishes is zero on the other hand if we take since we know that e over s is separable the minimal polynomial f of um, a over s is separable so df the derivative is not zero and since uh, since f since sits inside s we have that g uh, so f is a, is a factor of g say with another polynomial h and what we have is that g is non separable f is separable and therefore h has to be non separable so by taking the derivative of these we have dg is equal to the f times h plus f times the h and now what do we have here we have that this is zero df this is non-zero and on the other hand dh must be zero since h is non-separable and so by this we get that h must be zero which is of course a contradiction therefore our initial assumption was not correct and we conclude that e is equal to s So let's add uh, the missing detail. If you haven't uh, solved the axis that I proposed before, let's let's give uh, let's give an explanation also of this fact. Proof of the fact that if we have two simple extensions, two algebraic separable extension of a field F then also the extension f to a and b is separable and okay there is one quick very quick way which if you want to use what we've seen in class the the tower so sorry the transitivity of separability for finite extensions is of course our finite our finite extensions the simple algebraic extension is finite so you can use you can use this fact and see that f for example sits inside f a which sits inside f a b which we can write as an extension of f a and of course here you know that uh, f of a is separable and then uh, also that um, f of a b over f a is separable and therefore the larger extension is separable if you don't use this more generally we can do uh, as follows so let's take an element in f of a b and we denote by f 
little f the minimal polynomial of x over f. Uh, no, sorry, I want to denote, I want to take the minimal polynomial of the a, which is of course separable, and also the minimal polynomial of b over f, which are separable polynomials. I can consider the, so let's consider the splitting field. We have an existence of a splitting field for these two polynomials. So I consider uh, L splitting field for F and G as an extension of f. So we have a splitting field for this polynomial, but these are separable. So in particular, L over f is a separable extension. And our, um, our element x here, of which we want to show this is separable, of course, we can think of it as an element in L, and therefore uh, is separable, it is separable. Okay, so this is another uh, argument that doesn't use uh, the transitivity for finite extension. Maybe, maybe a simpler way to do this. Okay.